Hello grade 10s and welcome to today's lesson on using foil. Here is a worked example of what it looks like to use foil. When we expand the product of two binomials, it is essential that each term in the first bracket is multiplied to every term in the second bracket. We also need to remember to add like terms if there are any. Before we go ahead and do any examples together, let's revise how we use FOIL. FOIL is an acronym for first, outer, inner, and last. It simply gives us the order in which to multiply the terms. The first terms of each bracket are multiplied by each other. The outer terms of each bracket are multiplied by each other. The inner terms are multiplied by each other. And the last terms of each bracket are multiplied together. If we can, we would then add any like terms. Let's use FOIL to do the next example. We are told to simplify and we see that we have two brackets next to each other and in each bracket there are two terms. We multiply x and x as these are the first terms in each bracket. This comes to x squared. Let's multiply the outer terms, x and plus 4 together, to get an answer of 4x. The inner terms are minus 3 and x. Multiplying these two together equals minus 3x. And then the last terms, which are minus 3 and positive 4 will give us an answer of minus 12. We have like terms and to completely simplify we add those like terms. And our answer is x squared plus x minus 12. Now that we're warmed up let's do an example that people often get wrong. Simplify open brackets x plus 3 close brackets squared this is an example of a squared binomial. Often people will make the mistake of only squaring the x and the 3. This is wrong because the square belongs to the entire bracket. We must multiply the bracket by itself. There is a shortcut to squaring a binomial. But before we learn that, let's practice FOIL once more. We begin by multiplying the first terms, which is equal the x squared. The outer terms, x and 3 gives us 3x. Multiplying the inner terms, 3 and x, we again get 3x. And lastly, the last terms, 3 times 3 is 9. We add the like terms together and get x squared plus 6x plus 9. Now that we've squared a binomial using FOIL, let's do the quicker method. Remember that this method only works with squaring a binomial. We square the first term. x is our first term and squaring that will give us an answer of x squared. Step 2 requires us to multiply the first and second term together and multiply that by 2. So x times 3 is 3x and that times 2 is 6x. The last step in this shortcut is to square the last term. 3 squared is 9. Whenever we multiply a binomial by another binomial, we can use FOIL. But shortcuts do save time. Let's go over one more shortcut. The brackets y minus 3 and y plus 3 are a result of a difference of two squares. This is easy to spot because the brackets are exactly the same except the first one having a minus and the second a plus. In these cases the sum of the middle terms are always equal to zero. Let us investigate this further by using FOIL. Simplify in brackets x minus 4 and x plus 4. Notice that the brackets are the same except for the minus in the first and the plus in the second. That's how we can tell it's the result of a difference of two squares. We use FOIL to multiply out the two brackets. x times x is x squared. 
x times 4 is 4x. Minus 4 times x is minus 4x. And minus 4 times 4 is minus 16. Our like terms, 4x and minus 4x, add up to 0, giving us a final answer of x squared minus 16. Thank you for joining us, grade 10s. Remember to try the task video at the end of this section. You'll also be able to learn more about FOIL on our website, www.mindset.co.za forward slash learn. Goodbye.